Here are some incredibly powerful combinations of materia, skills, and gear that you need to try out at least once. Many of these are some pretty powerful and awesome combinations that once you try them, you probably won't want to go back. A quick minor spoiler warning though, we will be discussing skills and items, however no story content will be shown, but this is a warning for you if you feel like certain skills and items might be spoilers. Tell us your favourite combos that you figured out down below in the comments and let's jump into it with Red 13 and Dark Side. Red 13 is already one of the more powerful characters in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, with his ability to easily tank incoming damage and dish out swift damage with his counters. However, some of Red 13's abilities are dependent on certain conditions being met in order to get the most out of them, such as having his vengeance meter filled, or depending on how low health you are. Well, one of his more powerful attacks is actually his Reaper's Touch ability. This is a quick hitting move that only costs 1 ATB, but the damage scales depending on how low your health health is. So to get the most out of this move you want to be as low health as possible and this will make it hit incredibly hard. Of course one way to lose some health is of course to guard and take damage but the best players out there will probably be doing perfect parries. One solution to this is actually the dark side materia. This materia allows you to use dark side and when it's active it will increase the potency of your abilities but causes you to suffer a percentage of your health when you use an ability. This skill actually increases the damage of your abilities by a massive 20% at the maximum level which is absolutely huge for an already very powerful damaging skill. Skill. And it's perfect for Red 13 and Reaper's Touch because it actually lowers your health by a controllable 5% each time you use a skill. To use this materia effectively, you will need to activate it first in the command menu for 1 ATB. After that, you can actually see this icon next to any skill that will gain the buff from Darkseid. Just remember to watch your health, and a great tip is that you can use Red 13's level 1 limit break to both regain health and MP in case you get into a pinch. But the combination of lowering your health to use on a move that scales based on how low your health is, and then the additional 20% buff makes this a very deadly combo. Next up is a skill that's been popular in the community for Rebirth, and it is the Plasma Discharge skill. This is a skill that will proc a burst of lightning damage around the character whenever they fill an ATB gauge. The thing is you can make some real chaos with this when you pair it together with other skills that refund the ATB cost of using a skill. So moves like Cloud's Disorder, the Mug skill, or Tifa's Focus Strike are very effective when combined with this. Well, something that's really cool that you may not have realized is that you can make this even more broken when you pair the enemy skill materia and link it with the HP absorption materia, letting you earn back some health every time you proc the plasma discharge damage. The heal itself isn't a massive amount, but because you can proc this back to back very quickly, it really does add up. However, something to be aware of when using this is that it would actually cause some enemies to recover from stuns or knockbacks quicker than without it, so get ready and be careful for any incoming attacks when you do this tech. Next up, we had to include this one on the list because it is just a super wacky thing that you can do, and it isn't something that you usually have available to you. We're talking about the self-destruct skill that you can also get on the enemy skill materia. This is a skill that mimics the bomb creature's self-destruct move and allows you to blow yourself up for massive damage to enemy targets, which doesn't sound too useful, but if you pair this with a re-raise, you can kind of do it without a care in the world because re-raise will automatically revive you when you go down, and the only downside is that re-raise does have a high mana cost, but well, it is just worth it when you see it in action. You could also just have a teammate revive you if you wanted to, but the re-raise tech does make it a bit more wacky. Carrying on with the theme of exploding things, after we finished Kate Sith's legendary bout hard VR mission, we found this skill combo very useful for taking out large groups of enemies. The two skills are Moogle Kaboom and Dodge and Dive. Simply put, Moogle Kaboom will turn your Moogle into a ticking time bomb and explode him when it finally leaves combat, while Dodge and Dive is an evade attack where you can use your Moogle to counter with a reckless charge, and this does fill the ATB gauge when done successfully. The thing is, the game doesn't properly communicate that when you use reckless charge, it will make your Moogle disappear after the move is complete. This means if you pair this with Moogle Kaboom, you can get an instant explosion that causes a ton of stagger damage. The Moogle Kaboom and Dodge and Dive damage stacked together as well, so if you use this with the skill master materia that grants additional ATB after doing 3 skills, you will get a ton of recycled ATB bars after completion, meaning you can loop back into it and do it again. 
Next up is something that is often overlooked by players and it's the ability to slot the elemental materia into your armor instead of just your weapon. Of course, using it on your weapon gives you a percentage of the elemental linked materia as damage, which is very nice. But it also has an effect when used on your armor slots instead. Here's a quick explanation on how to link materia because we have seen a few people confused about it. You can link materia together when the two slots have this connected point in the middle. You will have to put two materia next to each other in these slots to link them and you're able to see which materia can be linked together by the blue outline when you go through your materia list. A quick tip for setting materia down is that you can actually quickly set materia for all party members at the same time by pressing down the touch button on the materia menu making it much easier to change what is linked and who has what. But going back to the elemental materia, you will sometimes want to actually use this on your armor instead of your weapon because some fights will throw a lot of elemental damage at you and doing this can make it quite trivial as linking it together with an element on your armor will instead absorb the linked elemental damage and heal you instead. So if you're having trouble with a boss or monster that keeps spamming spells at you, you should definitely give this a go. On top of this, using the dual elemental materia will actually apply this effect for both of those elemental damage versions. So make sure to use this with the materia that matches the boss you're fighting and the dual element gives you even more coverage. Next up is something that you can pair with any of your characters and you may have even overlooked it but it's a real game changer once you have it. It's the Expeditionary Medal and its enhanced version. This is a very powerful accessory for your characters as it allows you to have instant access to your leveled up limit breaks without doing any synergy attacks. You can get this one by completing the world intel for Chadley in the Nibble region after defeating King Zhu, the world boss of that area. It's great for characters that have limit breaks that increase stagger, which for most characters is their level two version. So definitely give this a try and craft this item and tell us how you get on with it. And lastly, you should know that one of Yuffie's hardest hitting attacks is Storm's Fury. But but you won't be able to get to this unless you've leveled up your folios and it's definitely worth it because this does a number of big hitting attacks but does require you to have three ATB bars filled. Normally you can only access this by doing a synergy attack. However, if you get the compass item from the endgame pirate mission, you'll be able to use this to get three ATB bars more easily, thus being able to use Storm Fury more often. There is some caveats to this in that the compass ATB split will not last as long as the unite synergy split, so you will need to be quick to to pull this off and it only activates after using five skills in quick succession. Tell us your combos down below so we can all learn together as a community and we're going to have more Final Fantasy Rebirth coming your way soon.